In this training video, we'll talk about using patch. Now, patching is simply the process of assigning dimmers, dimmers in your theater connected to lights, to channels. And as we've been going through these exercises, we've been using what's called a one-to-one -one patch, meaning that channel one always controlled dimmer one. Channel two always controlled dimmer two. Now, oftentimes, you'll want to change that and have channel 2 control more than one dimmer or a dimmer that's different from dimmer 2. Patch is accessed in the LCD menu. So I'll hit Menu, and then I'll move to Patch, hit Enter. And now I'm going to find some options. Patch by dimmer, which will be the first one we explore. Now, SmartFade allows me to patch in one of two modes, blind or live. Patching live, as I move to a dimmer or patch a dimmer, that dimmer will come on. Now, this is pretty useful if you're patching in the theater and you actually want to be able to patch a dimmer to a channel and then look out on stage and see if you've, in fact, gotten the right light. I'll patch in live mode here. Patching in blind mode basically allows you to do it without bringing up any lights. So I'll patch, select live. And what we have is a very simple display that shows me dimmer 1, which is assigned to channel 1. And the idea here is that I move my encoder, and you'll see that as I'm moving them, they're coming on. That's the live mode. If I wanted to assign dimmer 13 to a different channel, I would select dimmer 13, hit Enter, and now change the channel, for instance, to channel 1. And now I've assigned dimmer 13 channel 1, and when I bring up channel 1, it'll be bringing up both dimmer 1 and dimmer 13. So in patch by dimmer mode, you'll be working one dimmer at a time and assigning it to a channel. So let's move backwards through our menu now and go back to patch by channel. Patching by channel, once again we choose live or blind allows us to view our patch and make changes to it a channel at a time. So now I can see that channel 1 contains dimmer number 1 and dimmer number 13. If I wanted to add another dimmer into that, I would just hit Enter, 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 and now move my encoder to another dimmer. And, for instance, what we're seeing here is dimmer 10. It has an asterisk by it. It's telling me that dimmer 10 is already assigned to another channel. And a dimmer can only be assigned to any one channel at a time. So if I select dimmer 10 right now, I'll be removing it from where it's assigned and assigning it to channel 1. And now that's done. You'll see the caret moves, and I can now add another dimmer into channel 1. When I move backwards, I can select a different channel and assign dimmers to it as well. Now in patch we also have the option of patch special and in patch special we can do things like unpatch a dimmer, simply remove it from one channel but not assign it to another channel. We can reset the patch one to one which is very common when you're starting over again or starting a new production. Or we can clear the patch and unassign all the dimmers from any of their channels. So those are the options that are available under Patch Special. Well, that finishes up the section on patching. As you can see, it's very simple, uh, but also a very necessary part of organizing your lighting plot down into channels that make sense to you for any given production.